Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. In today's video, you guessed it, more plants. So what I'm doing today is uh, transferring over some of the cuttings I have made uh, and showing a bit of a failed experiment at the same time, um, but transferring over the successful cuttings uh, into a container. Um, so, join me through that process. Let's take a quick look at uh, what was done and uh, the results of what happened. Alright, so here we have cuttings that were placed into one of these uh, burpee seed starting trays. Uh, for anyone who didn't, didn't know or didn't watch or this is their first time viewing, uh, I had to clean up some plants and I decided to make some cuttings and see if I could get them to propagate. So these four dead sticks here are uh, milkweed that, uh, well, obviously didn't make it, didn't do anything. As you can see this little wilted one right here, these four were, uh, or I should say are, uh, cuttings of star jasmine. This one had been doing so well and then just died. This one didn't really do anything and is, well, now dying. Uh, this one here had been doing barely anything and then, let me turn this around, has just some wonderful growth on it. So I wanted to get it transplanted. This one here isn't really doing anything. It may have just a little bit, if I can get it to focus in there. I'm not really sure if it's actually going to do anything, uh, but it's still green, still alive. So I wanna get that planted in as well, just to give it a kick. So basically I have uh, two out of eight propagation experiments. Uh, well, one that made it, one that may make it, one that made it but then died, one that didn't do anything and four that dead. So whatever those proportions are, percentages and, and whatnot, um, but that's what I'm dealing with. So, uh, and for anyone interested, um, the things that didn't make it and the dirt and the sticks and all that will all be composted. Uh, I do think that's a great thing to do. Uh, unfortunately, I live in an apartment, so composting here isn't really great. I have a relative that lives nearby, and I can, uh, dump any compost there anytime needed. Um, so, let's get started with, uh, getting these little, uh, propagations, cuttings. Anyway, let's get them transferred, is what I'm trying to say. All right. All right, back to a familiar filming angle. Hoping it's doing a little better uh, than trying something different. Uh, so, we're at it. As always, I prefer terracotta. Now, I know some people will say, why use terracotta? Well, first off, I don't like using plastic containers whenever possible. Um, I did for a long time. Uh, they would get brittle. They would crack um, between the heat and the sun. They, they didn't last. Uh, I also felt they clogged up more and everything. And I like the fact that when you have a terracotta container, obviously, use a drain it. Use a drain it to cover that bottom hole. <laughs> and I always put mine in a tray. No, I actually forgot to bring the tray in here. But it's just a tray that goes underneath your container, catches any excess water. Now, of course, mine are outside. So when it rains, if it rains in proper direction, um, water can fill up in there. And between the hole in the bottom and the terracotta itself, the Dirt can actually wick up the moisture. 
Uh, yes, the terracotta can also cause your plant to dry out a little more. Um, I haven't necessarily seen that as an issue. Um, I think it actually works to your benefit because it helps to prevent your walk your plants from getting as waterlogged. Uh, <laughs> I have a ch tendency to overwater, um, so that extra moisture being able to be wicked away can be helpful as well. Um, it does mean that on obviously very windy days, very, very, very hot days, <laughs> like I can get around here, um, you just have to water a little bit more strategically, I think would be the proper word. Um, but yeah, I like terracotta pots. I think they're better than plastic. Um, also, you just not produce, you're not having to produce the plastic, you're not having to throw away the plastic. Um, and yeah, terracotta can shatter, it can break, um, but it's still better overall. Again, buy what you want. Um, I prefer the unglazed. Some people like the glazed and painted and decorated and all that. Um, but it's primarily what you like and what fits in your the look you're going for with your plants. This is what I like. This is what I use. Do what you want. Use what you want. Bye. Right. So like I said, like I said, use or drain it. There will be a link in the description. Uh, but in all honesty, uh, if you do use the link, get them. Um, link helps a little bit. You know, all that standard content creator stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, but if you like what you see, let me know. Comments are always welcome. All that. Bye. And you just toss it in. And if ever you go to repot this container, well, you won't. I will. Uh, but if you happen to use a drain it and you go to repot your container, uh, they're reusable indefinitely. Um, so that helps as well. I don't like putting loose rocks in the bottom. Um, it doesn't actually help prevent the... You, you can somewhat help the dirt from falling out um but you're still going to get the little particles and everything to where this kind of helps keep everything a bit more contained but allowing the water to flow through so that's why i like it that's why i use it you do you okay and of course dirt bag um like i said before I like Miracle Grow Moisture Control. Um, just helps against over and under watering. Uh, as you can tell, I am almost out. When I am out of this, I am going to be switching to a different dirt. Um, and, well, we'll see how that goes, how that compares and, and everything. Um, but that's a future video. Uh, let me get this filled up. Try to fast forward or I may cut it. Whatever. Just. <laughs> and it's done. Alright, now that we have all the dirt in here. Um, now. Well, let me bring you a little closer so you can see. Now I have filled this up. I still make mistakes, don't get me wrong. But I have filled this up. Well, you see the little lip right there. I try to fill it up to about there. I then put my plant in. Then I fill it up the rest of the way because it will settle down. Uh, as loose as it is, once you water it, it'll want to compact a little bit. And uh, so you, the dirt will eventually settle. So with all that, uh, let's try to get our little cuttings out of here. Now, I'm only going to take these two cuttings. The rest, like I said, are going to be composted. Um, if you watched my previous video on the seed starter trays, I'm not entirely happy with them. 
Um, but I've been using them and they've been okay. It's just getting ones that weren't broke was an issue. Again, there'll be a link if you choose to use them. That's on you. Um, if, if you can find ones that aren't broke, I recommend them. Um, but I can't exactly fully recommend them because of the issues that I had. Um, but again, you do you. Now this time doing this, I let the soil dry out a little bit more, a little bit more even than desirable. Um, so it wasn't such a soupy mess trying to get the, the cuttings out of here. Learned that, my, learned that mistake from the last time. Or learned it was a mistake. Anyway, let the soil dry out a little bit before you try to transplant. Um, just makes things slightly less messy. Just take that out. And I'm going to put this pretty much center in the container. Dig just a little bit because remember I am going to fill up around it. Actually, I probably want to bring that up just a little bit more. And it just fell apart. So, learning process. The whole seedling just, uh, the dirt around the bottom fell apart. So, I was, uh, I'm going to get some more dirt in here and uh, set this at the level that I need it. Sometimes things happen. I, I, I don't want to have to like go through and try to re-edit and redo the experiment and all that to do it. You know, this is real life. Sometimes things happen and you just roll with it. So, let's do it. Set this over here out of the way. Don't want to damage the roots too much. And I uh, guess let's uh, pour some more dirt in. Now I've got it filled up. Let's show you again. Now I've got it filled up. Now, of course, had everything gone to plan, the plant would be about right here, and then this would all have been put up to it. But that's not what happened. Sometimes when you make plans, things go wrong. You know, best laid plans of mice. Men had nothing to do with it. Um. Anyway... Back to it. So, basically, I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to do this one-handed. And uh, just dig a little hole. Dig a little hole. Let's come over here. Grab my little seedling. And honestly, with as much, with as much growth that is on that, look at... Well, if it can focus... Look at those roots. That's actually doing pretty good if I do if I do say so myself. All that there is new growth. These little these little leaf leaves right here. So let's put that in the hole. And then uh, let me set the camera down so I can get it all in there so it doesn't fall over like that. Alright, so now we're just going to take this and we're going to make sure that it's got support in the center here. Kind of press down just a little bit to make sure there's some pressure up against. We don't want too far up the stem to be covered, but there we go. Alright, and now since that one messed up the way it did, and this one it really isn't as critical, I'm just going to kind of pull it out of this one 
and uh, yeah, there, there's, there's no roots on this one, but the leaves are still really nice and green. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to stick it down in the dirt. And uh, that's that. Now I will say with these star jasmine, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, um, I have cuttings of them that I've stuck in the dirt outside and uh, didn't go through the whole seed tray process and all that and uh they're actually growing um so is this step technically necessary no but it was an experiment you know so i wanted to see how it would do uh this does allow you to a little bit better control um and of course you know you can make eight at a time here if, if you're doing all one kind and uh but this is what we got for right now so now well essentially it's planted uh gonna give it a good water put a uh a tray underneath it set it outside um not really a whole lot involved um, again just transplanting some some cuttings i just had the one hopefully eventually i'll be doing some more um a bit larger scale and uh maybe that'll be a bit more enjoyable to watch uh i know this wasn't all that interesting um but i like plants so that's what i'm doing for right now and remember it doesn't matter what you're growing well, I mean, be safe on that. Um, find plants you like, whether you're getting cuttings, whether they're seeds, whether they're saplings, go to your, go to your local garden center. That's always best. And uh, try stuff. You're like, oh, I kind of like the way that looks. If you can find a small enough one that isn't going to break the bank, Try growing it. See if you can. See if it grows in where you want it to grow. That's the wonderful thing about plants. Just give it a try. And as always, thank you for watching Pi. Be smart. Stay safe. Have fun. My dirt bag's almost gone.